Today, Huawei launched the first actual product carrying Harmony OS, which is an Honor branded smart screen. Nowhere today did Huawei mention the word television or TV. Everything was branded smart. It's a smart screen, Harmony OS. But this is, from what I can see, just just a TV. So this is called Honor Vision and it is the first product to carry Harmony OS. It is a 55 inch smart screen, not a TV apparently. So you get two models here, a standard and a pro model. The pro model gets a pop-up camera that you can use and it also gets slightly more ROM. 16 gigabytes on the non-pro version, 32 gigabytes of ROM on the pro version. That's ROM, not RAM. 32 gigabytes of storage doesn't seem that much if you're gonna be using this as a smart TV, maybe downloading some games, downloading some other apps that you might wanna use. The screen also supports links to DJI cameras, DJI the drone maker. So you can fly your drone, control it with your Huawei phone, and then beam that footage directly to your TV at home. Sounds pretty cool, although how many times are you really gonna use that. The screen has a 94% screen to body ratio, very thin bezels all around the screen. It supports 4K and it uses a chip called Honghu, which is a Huawei developed chip. It also has Bluetooth 5 and good Wi-Fi connections, apparently the same chips that they use inside their phones. On top of that, it apparently only takes two seconds to turn the TV on from completely cold to being able to watch something, which is pretty good. However, throughout the whole presentation, I felt like Huawei and Honor were really bigging up this product that was essentially just a TV. I know it has Harmony OS on there, but that doesn't really seem anything more developed than a lot of systems you already get on TVs. I mean, there are a lot of Android TVs too. You can beam images and videos and games from your phone onto the on a smart screen, but that technology exists and is in use already. So I quickly went on to Tmall and just looked at a TCL TV, which have a pretty good reputation. They're good solid TVs and they're not that expensive. And these are LED TVs, 55 inch going for two and a half up to 3000 RMB. These also have operating systems and all these do pretty much everything I saw in today's Honor smart screen launch. Bearing in mind that the Honor smart screen starts at 3799 for the non-pro variant and then goes up to 4799 for the pro variant. Absolutely nowhere in today's announcement did I see the word OLED or LED used. I can't find any concrete information on this, so I'm assuming that this panel is LCD. Not terrible, but considering TCL make much cheaper LED TVs, it doesn't seem like we're getting much more than literally an LCD TV with a semi-smart operating system. In any case, this is the start of Harmony OS, the very first product to use Harmony OS. So it's obviously gonna start slow, and I'm excited to see how a Harmony OS is gonna be used across more products and be used to link up Huawei phones with those products. Also, because it is the Huawei Developer Conference, there is news coming left, right, and center. We have some hands-on footage of underscreen fingerprint technology used with LCD screens. So at the moment, only OLED screens are using underscreen fingerprint sensors. Just because of the tech involved, LCDs up until now couldn't use it. But a few companies have been developing this and Huawei are obviously looking to use this in future phones. This will be used in the cheaper phones because in Huawei's flagship models, they've moved over to OLED screens. So what this means, I'm assuming, is that we're gonna keep LCD screens in Huawei lower end products and most Honor products too. Whereas most manufacturers are moving over to OLED now, even in budget models like the Realme X, also the Oppo K3, which is basically just a Realme X with an Oppo logo on it. They all use OLED panels, Xiaomi and Redmi, even in the lower end models are using OLED panels. But it looks like Huawei and Honor are gonna be sticking with LCD for the time being. Although it's yet to be seen if they're gonna use this technology in any upcoming products. There were also some case leaks today which seem to confirm that the Mate 30 series might be getting that circular shaped camera on the back there. This rumor has been about for a while it was first said that it wouldn't be circular, it would be square. Take these with a pinch of salt, but there are more and more leaks and case designs with that circular shape, or as they call it in China, Ao Li Ao, which is 
Oreo design. We also got lots of hands-on pictures and more clearer pictures of how EMUI 10 will look when it's released in a few weeks time. This is just a small upgrade to EMUI, still based on Android. It looks a little bit cleaner, a little bit more modern. The icons have been changed a little bit. It does look a little bit cleaner overall. I think it looks quite good. You can get six color schemes with new EMUI 10, but I personally would just go for the dark mode and have everything black. Although according to this poster on Twitter, it's still uncertain whether the Mate 30 series will get Google services. That's a really, really big issue for this phone. If this doesn't have Google support and Google services outside of China, this phone just cannot do well, will not do well. That's something that's still unclear and is definitely huge news regarding that device. All right, that's it for now. Harmony OS has had a slow start in my opinion, but I hope to see much, much more from Harmony OS in the future. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.